What does Japan think about the Stellar Blade censorship controversy? Well, that's a straight up scam. Sony are truly idiots. They're selling spicy costumes and yet they pulled this stunt without any notice? That they kept this quiet until release is just ridiculously shady, lol. It's typical regulation nonsense from Kusoni. Quit screwing around, Kusoni. Kusoni. It's a word that keeps coming up in Japanese comments that merges Kuso and Sony into one super word. And we've seen it all the time ever since Sony started ramping up the regulation of video games on their platforms. But what fans especially hate is how Sony even regulates some games targeted at mature audiences who can make up their own minds about the type of content they want to consume. Ironically, making the Nintendo Switch a better place to get various games on the spicier end of the spectrum. Sony's censorship usually degrades the game experience if only slightly, but on top of causing unwanted changes to a game's creative direction, these changes can be costly to developers and this time as the publisher of Shift Up's new action RPG, Stellar Blade, Sony is coming under fire more than ever. As one Japanese fan put it, the reason people overseas are getting so heated about this is that they've been fed up with Kusoni's regulations since the later stages of the PS4 era. So when this game, which was originally supposed to be a multi-platform game, came to the PS5, they were excited, thinking it was proof that Sony had changed its ways. Even the official Stellar Blade Twitter account stated that they'd offer the same uncensored version in all countries, leading people to believe that it wouldn't be regulated at all, which got it a lot of praise. However, after release, traces of censorship were found one after the other, leading to disappointment, grief, and fans turning against it. Of course, there is no clear evidence that Sony directly caused the changes, but it's more likely than not. And whether the changes happened out of pressure from Sony, ratings boards, or certain regions of the world, fans hate it when a game's creative vision gets twisted. Because from the get-go, Stellar Blade was marketed as a sexy action game that goes over the top on blood and bubbles and holds nothing back. So when the game's day one patch changed a bunch of Eve's outfits like this one and this one, among other things, many fans in Japan and around the the world were upset even though the changes were fairly minor. The good news is that if you've got a physical copy of Stellar Blade and install it without downloading the patch, you can see the game in its original state. But as one Japanese fan puts it, if you have the physical copy, you can avoid the updates. But in this game, perfect parrying is crucial and the update resolves this weird lag during parrying, so it's a choice between avoiding updates or smooth parrying, which is kind of a funny trade-off. To be honest, I really doubt that the changes will affect players' enjoyment of the in-game experience, especially since there is still plenty of spice and gore even after the patch, but it's the inconsistency between how the game was presented and how the patch changed it that got people fired up. As Japanese fans are saying, from the start, the official line was, we're providing a version that isn't censored in any region, only to end up enforcing censorship in the day one patch. No wonder there's an uproar. The official statement was, there will be no censorship globally. However, after release, traces of censorship, such as gore regulations, like reducing blood splatter, changing the color of spoilers, severed arm, etc., and reducing the skin area of costumes were discovered one after the other from version 1.000 to version 1.002. The game's director, Hyung Tae Kim, said that they're aware of the problem, and that the final version they were planning to show was 1.002. This is seriously deceptive. Basically, some buyers feel like this was a bait and switch, that Shift Up's tweet about there being no censorship was a load of baloney, and while some people think the outrage is over the top, which is fair enough, I think one Japanese fan put it nicely when they said, people who just downloaded the digital copy without previously following the game weren't affected but for others who saw the costumes in the promotional material without any mention of alterations, and considering the announcement that there wouldn't be any changes. The opinion that they've actually been nerfed is quite reasonable, isn't it? Fully censored spice and gore were presented as big selling points, so the patch was obviously going to raise eyebrows, especially among people who bought the game for the spicy costumes, which was seriously a completely reasonable thing to buy it for, since the sugar spice and everything nice was marketed as one of the game's major points of appeal from the get-go. I mean, in an interview with Push Square, the game's director even revealed that they modeled Eve, the game's heroine, after the Korean model Jae Eun Shin, because they wanted to come up with the most attractive looking body possible for the user. So sex appeal and spicy costumes are obviously intended to be huge parts of the game experience, nothing was supposed to be censored, and director Hyun Tae Kim's response to the situation didn't exactly clear things up. Understandably, we recognize the issue. However, the final costume that we wanted to show you is indeed the costume in version 1.002. Sure, whatever you say, Mr. Kim, except that this almost certainly wasn't the costume they wanted to show. Or it would have been in the actual build, not backpedaled into a patch that was pushed out sometime after the disc went into production. Not to mention that the altered outfits were clearly intended to be unpatched. On the other hand, there actually were some fans who supported the changes. I actually prefer the altered version. Too much exposure is just vulgar. If Sony's been dominating with this stance since the old days, then it must be the correct approach, right? Are you guys stupid? Who cares about costume regulations? If you're after something spicy, go buy an erotic game, you weirdos. So not everyone is mad about the patch. But how about you?